Hey guys, so I am really excited to announce my, um, oh my gosh, I'm already forgetful, <laughs> this is so bad, to announce my contest. Um, I am doing a contest for those who are interested in getting a prize from Korea. It's really small, but I want to be able to do many contests throughout my time here, so I'm only going to send something small so I can do more. Um, so this contest, you must um, think of a phonics game or activity that you think that students would like or would really learn um, phonics. So you must upload a video and post it as a video response to this video and just explain. You don't have to reenact it. Just explain a phonics game or video um, and I will pick the one that I like the most. I'll actually pick two winners and um, the prize is something really small but I thought it was very cute. It is um, a penny. <laughs> Um, this is a cell phone charm. I actually am going to do two winners, so you have these two cell phone charms. And um, it is a Korean penny inside. It is ship one. Ship one. And um, on the outside, this, um, this part, it says, lucky, courage, hope love forever and um you can if you don't have a thing to um where's my phone if you don't have a thing like this that allows you to make a cell phone sorry i'm getting a text <laughs> again um yes it's a boy <laughs> okay so um gosh i lost my train of thought um, if you don't have a cell phone thing that where you can hook up the, your, ah, <laughs> if you don't have a cell phone hook thing, you can use it as a, um, keychain, um, holder. Yeah, you can put it on your keychain. So, yeah, so these are Korean pennies and two winners will receive this. So, um, first, the rules, you must be a subscriber. Second is you must be 18 or over, or you must have the consent of your parent if you are under 18. The last one is you must make a video and post it as a response to this video. Uh, the title can be Charlie's Phonics Activities or something like that. <laughs> you can name it whatever you want. Um, yeah, so I will pick the winner. Um, the reason why I'm doing this is because next week I start um, English camp, and my English camp is three weeks long, and the first week is three hours a day, and the, sec the last two weeks are six hours a day, and it's all phonics. And I want the students to have fun, but also learn, of course. So um, phonics is actually pretty difficult especially for like the Korean students. So I want something fun. And also this will be useful for future teachers or current teachers who are looking for phonics activities. And um, yeah, my co-teacher actually thought that this contest was a good idea. So um, yeah, it'll give me ideas on activities to do in the classroom. So it's not for nothing. <laughs> so yeah, so um, I'm going to announce the winner on let me let, look at my calendar. <clears throat> I'm not checking my text, I promise. <laughs> okay, today is the 21st in Korea. It is actually 2 a.m. Um, and I will do the contest winner on, I will announce the contest winner on the last week of my the last day of my English camp. I will do that. Um, the 14th of January will be the last day to um, the day that I announce the winner. That will be the day that I announce the winner. So the last day will be the 13th and I will announce the winner on the 14th of January 2011. So 
I hope you guys enter my contest. Um, once again, the prizes are Ship One, which is one penny, um, a Korean penny. Looks like this. And this is the other side. And it's a cell phone charm, which you can also use as a keychain holder. Yay, so you will have an item from Korea. Um, so I hope to do more contests like this, and I would like, it would be nice that for those of you who plan to come to Korea or will never get a chance to come to Korea to have something from Korea. So um, I hope you guys enter, and I'll see you guys later. Make sure you follow the rules. Um, I'll see you guys later. Bye.